Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to add colliders to tile maps in Unity. Uh, so in previous videos, we looked at how to add colliders to objects like platforms or to things like boxes or the player. So we've looked at like box colliders and uh, polygon colliders, but with tile maps, it's a little bit different, uh, but it's pretty easy. So I've got a grid here and then I've got a couple of tile maps on this grid. So to add colliders to these tile maps, basically just select a tile map that you want to add a collider to. And you can see here I've got um, some tiles here and I've also got some tiles down here. All right, so if I select that tile map, go down to add component, and then instead of going to physics 2D and looking for collider to use in there, go down to tile map and then just select tile map collider 2D. All right, we can see that it's automatically added uh, colliders around these tiles. Okay, and it's done that for all of the tiles. We can see these green lines here representing the uh, colliders. It's done it for all of these tiles on that tile map. All right, now if you've got more than one tile map, you'll need to make sure that you go to uh, the other tile maps and add a tile map collider 2D component to those as well. And that's basically it. So now at this stage, I've got a little bit of a scene here. I've got the player and I've got some platforms, um, box, I've got some spikes and gems or crystals, some trees and different ladders. And so there's a little bit of a scene coming together here and there's um, more that I can add to it. So I can add more challenges and obstacles or collectibles. But at this point, uh, there's enough here in this scene to start being able to add some uh, player movement and to add things like scoring and health. So in the next video, we're gonna start looking at how to write code in C Sharp for um, a Unity game. And we're gonna start looking at how to add player movement so we can start to move the player around this scene. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching.